Hi everybody, I am Dr. Chaitra Jaydev. I am from the Retina Department at Narayan Australia. Today I am going to speak to you about a very important topic which is examination of the peripheral retina. As we all know, retina is a very important part of the eye which is where all the light focuses and you get your clear images. So most often when you go to an eye specialist, they will say we need to put in drops and check your retina. That's exactly what I'm going to be telling you about and the importance. Let's start off with something called as peripheral retinal degeneration. Well, if you just look at your center retina, these degenerations which can be a risk factor for retinal detachment can be missed. Which is why a retina specialist will put in dilating drops and make you wait in the OPD for about half an hour to 45 minutes. Once your pupil is well dilated, we can make sure that we examine your peripheral retina very well and not miss these peripheral retinal degenerations. What do I mean by peripheral retinal degenerations? They could be lattices, they could be snail tag degenerations, we see atrophic holes, something uh, we even see something called as a horseshoe tear. Now all these can predispose you to a retinal detachment which requires a surgery to set right. So the earlier we pick up these degenerations, the earlier we can treat them in the form of a barrage laser and prevent worse scenarios such as retinal detachments. Post trauma, we see conditions such as retinal dialysis, we see retinal tears, we see bleeding, we see something called as commotio retinae. All these affect the peripheral or the side part of the retina, which may not be visible on simple examination. If we detect any of these conditions, we may again advise laser, call you for a closer follow-up so that we can see if it is getting better or not. Now another important condition that we can miss with just an undilated retinal examination is tumors. Some of them could be benign, some of them could be malignant depending on the age at which they are present. We could even see something as simple as a nevus which we want to make sure that we don't miss on future follow-ups. Besides tumors, we also look at vascular diseases. Very common amongst these vascular diseases are diaptic retinopathy, vein occlusions, you know, uh, studies have shown that peripherally uh, involving retina for diabetic retinopathy is actually a strong marker for progression of the disease. These are called as predominantly peripheral lesions in diabetic retinopathy, which is rather common in our population. Now, besides all this, we can also see some conditions called as retinal dystrophies. These are basically hereditary conditions or genetic conditions wherein, you know, the vision can be poor. We see pigmentary changes. So these are all conditions where we screen using the peripheral retina predominantly. Now, besides these things, what we need to look out for is inflammatory or infective conditions. This is called as uveitis and especially the pars plana, which is the peripheral most part of the retina could be involved in these conditions. Finally, with respect to children or the pediatric age group, two very important conditions are retinopathy of prematurity and another condition called as fever or FEVR. These two conditions also predominantly affect the peripheral retina and we need to dilate and examine these children to see whether they require treatment and follow up in the long run. Well, I spoke about dilated retinal examination and I told you that we need to put in drops to examine these patients. Many patients could be allergic to drops. Some of them have non-dilating pupils and even in children, peripheral retinal examination can sometimes be difficult. What if you've come driving to the hospital and you cannot undergo a dilated retinal examination? In these cases, we also have access to something called as wide field fundus cameras. Many of them help us check the peripheral retina even without putting dilating drops. So friends, peripheral retinal examination is very important. Thank you so much.